नंबर Easy going world. Welcome back to Nomadius. The name I chose is Thaddeus. I'm in a park in San Jose, Costa Rica right now. The wind is blowing, the sun is shining, the people are staring, and I'm feeling myself. But I've got a message and a question to ask you first. How can a leader be put in a box and still lead? Recently, I was put in a position where I was asked to pick my top five strengths. Not to my surprise, I struggled a lot with this because I know myself and as a leader, I know that my strengths present themselves depending on the opportunity in front of me. If a leader knows their strengths, like a carpenter knows their tools, then a leader knows when to use their strengths, like a carpenter uses different tools for different tasks. This comes back to my self-assurance because I know who I am and who I am destined to become and I am changing the narrative on how we approach the world today. We think we have it figured out on how to become a successful leader who leaves a positive impact. But any leader like Malcolm X did not have their path laid out for them on how he chose to become a leader. How can a leader be put in a box and still lead? Creating an impact is not something that you're always going to see today. You may not taste the fruit tomorrow, next year. You may not even taste it while you're alive. Take Jack Johnson, the greatest boxer to ever live. A man born in a slave condition, fearless of what was around him and change the narrative of what a man, a black man, could do despite their environment and their circumstances. Now Jack Johnson's impact rings beyond his time. Jack Johnson never got to taste the fruit of their labor while they were still alive. Jack Johnson makes an impact on leaders today, on boxing today. And no one laid the path for Jack Johnson to walk. They tried to put Jack Johnson in a box but his name and his legacy rings louder than ever today. How can a leader be put in a box and still lead? We 
are human beings having a human experience. We were given wings in this life to fly free. Our spirit is where we go to choose where we'd like our life to go. As a leader, I understand that my path is not laid out and I choose how to lay out my path by either going left, by going right, by going forward, or by staying exactly where I am. In this life, I choose to be my God self and I choose to let my wings spread wide and fly to new heights beyond where anyone other than I sees for myself. So as a leader, I'm telling you, don't let anyone steer you off what you see as your path. Instead, tune into yourself. Tune into your deep spirit that's within you. And find out where your strengths are. Find out your passion. Find out your purpose. Find out your mission. And find out how you are going to implement, how you are going to make an impact in our world. So again, I ask you, How can a leader be put in a box and still lead? Much love and respect to you for tuning in to not just this video, but for tuning in to yourself. Make sure to share this with the person that you know needs to hear this. Share this with your community. Share this where your heart tells you to. And remember, our wings are still flying. Our spirit is still thriving. The sun is still shining. You and I, we're still smiling. So get out there. Because we are still living life. Nomadius out.